Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you my um, planner update. I did give you guys um, a planner setup walkthrough, I think about close to two months ago. So I do want to share with you guys some updates and things like that. For the most part, there is some things that are going to be the same and then there's going to be a few things that are going to be different. Um, the last planner that I was in was the Webster Pages. And um, after that, I did jump into my Doki Book Planner for a bit. And then I just recently went and jumped into this planner. Um, my last video shares with you guys just a very quick overview of this planner, um, which is, by the way, a day runner that I got from a thrift store called Savers. Um, it was somewhere around a dollar ninety nine to two ninety nine um very inexpensive definitely nowhere near five dollars um so i know for a fact it was under five dollars but i know it was like one ninety nine or two ninety nine but anyways i really didn't buy this planner to use it it actually had a few inserts in here that i wanted and i figured it was one ninety nine i'm gonna buy the planner just to get the inserts but as I started to look at this planner a little bit more and play around with it, I actually really like the planner. Um, I'm not sure what they call this particular day runner, if it is a, if they have an actual specific name for it. But as you can see, it is red. Um, it is textured and it's snap closure. It's nothing, um, I mean, like it, it's just a basic planner. It's in good shape, actually, for a hand-me-down, so I thought that was a good buy for the price that I purchased it. Um, but one of the things I really like about the planner is that it's very flexible. And, like, what I mean by that is you don't really have to train it to do anything. Um, I mean, it's... You can even fold it over like a notebook. And I really like... Um, you can fill this up really thick I mean because it's just so flexible so I really like that about it I think it's the only planner that I've had that had this kind of textured and bend to it um so as you can see it has three card slots here three on one side and three on the other and then you have this elongated pocket um what's nice about the pocket is it stretches out you can actually place a lot of things in here so that's a good thing um and what I'm trying to do is block that glare for from you guys. But um, there's a, a lot of room in here. So that I like a lot as well. So I'm going to go through the pockets really quickly and just explain to you what I have in here. Um, although I can fit so much more in this pocket, all I have is just um, a few stickers. These weekly plan sheets that I use to plan out my week sometimes. Um, this monthly... Um, little sheet and then a checklist they're not adhesive but I do add it if I need it to it to be in my planner somewhere I also have these here I was making a page marker for my pocket size planner and then I have um, a couple of sticky notes these page flags and that's pretty much it and actually these stickers here that I use for my planner as well my monthly pages so that's it and a lot like I said can actually go in here although it's not stuffed at the moment if I needed to add more things in there I could. All I have here in these pockets are just some sticky notes from the um, dollar spot. I have these lined ones here. This one here is like a little sprinkled polka dot um, and then I have this one here and some of them I do actually stick um doubles on the back just so i can have a variety of sticky notes i have this little i don't know what you call it. it's like a project life card and i've had it for a while so i figured if i put it in here i can try to use it up i have some of those um sticking they're not sticky notes they're actually little sheets of paper which were from target one spot and then i have some sample stickers in here just so i can try to use them up and a um, paper clip. So jumping into my planner, let me just try to angle this a little better. 
um, I have the dashboard that came in that came in the Webster's Pages planner, which is rubbing off. Um, I'm always sticking sticky notes on here, just little reminders and things like that. Sit in between this dashboard and this one here. Um, I did purchase this from an Etsy shop, and as usual, I can't remember the name, so I'm sorry, guys. In this first section, which is not a, um, a tab, is uh, the tracker, my either weekly tracker or habit tracker. I do have a page marker here, so I can just skip right to where I'm currently located. Um, but, but I put on here things that I just want to keep track of, things I just want to make sure I am progressing in. And typically what I do is once I get better in that area, not not everything listed means that I am not, um, that habit's not, um, like I don't have a good habit of it. It just means I want to track it. And then there's some things like water. Um, clean, I'll be honest, cleansing my face at night, like when I'm wearing makeup, I'm horrible with. Like I just want to, when I get home, I just want to lay down and I don't want to wash my face. Um, so there's certain things like that that I need to work on that I I um, I like try to keep track of. And there's other things that it's not that I need to work on it, but I do like to keep track of. Um, you know, just the things that I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The, this does typically change per week. So if there's something that I'm lacking in, I will add. If there's something I'm doing better in, you won't see it that next week. So it really just depends um, on each week and how I feel and what things I want to work on. So that's there. And like I said, I can see this from the front and just... Um, get right into where I'm currently at in the week. This is just a little page marker that I made um, from a folder and I just added scrap paper on the back and um, a sticker of Minnie Mouse. I thought it was really cute and um, yeah so I use that as a page marker for my weekly section. I have extra sheets of paper for that. Um, this here is I tried using this a while ago for something else and I didn't, I never used it. So instead of wasting it, I just threw it back in here and I'm going to just cover it up and um, use it how I am using the rest of these. Here is my note section. Um, again, I'm always putting sticky notes on the front of things just for reminders and things like that. Just something I can um, see quickly and jot down. Like there's some things I want to get for. Um, recording my YouTube videos and things that I think will make my recording sessions a lot easier and um, more joy um, enjoyable for you guys. So here's my 2016 Master Goals list. Um, I plan on opening a, an Etsy shop, but um, right now it's on pause. There's a little delay going on with that, but I do have a master to-dos list for that. I have a morning routine schedule here. Um, I haven't filled this out yet, but this is an eight, uh, morning and night work routine. So this is a routine that I would do in the morning and night when I'm working, and then this would be when I'm not working. Here's an evening slash bedtime routine. Um, again, when I'm not working, um, this is the things that I would like to do at night. Um, Here's a Sunday planning session. This is old, but I still refer to it sometimes. This is a daily work schedule that I gave myself for when, I, when I'm when i um, back from, like I said, I'm taking a little break, but trying to, open, trying to open up an Etsy shop and prepping. But once I get back into the groove of things, this is a schedule that I've given myself. Um, this is a diet little... Um, like tip and tips on things to do on dieting and how to just um, take care of my body and make sure I'm drinking enough water and vitamins and things like that things not to do or eat or drink food choices um, YouTube video ideas as you guys can see um, there's not that many ideas so 
if you guys um, have any ideas for me, please leave that down in the comment section below. That would be very helpful for me. Um, cause I can't seem to think of something that I feel you guys would want to see. And I don't want to record something just cause I think it's interesting. So you guys let me know and I would be more than happy to record that for you. Here's some Etsy shops that I enjoy. I have more, I just haven't had a chance to jot that down. Um, here's some songs that I like. Um, here is just some information on my driver's license. Um, so if you guys notice when this is closed, you can see these red tags here sticking out. These red flags are a indication of something very important. Um, it means that there's something in that section that's really important and it's something that I need to be more aware of and check on a day-to-day -day basis before anything else. So this is just to catch my attention and um, I can take care of it immediately. When um, there is no red flags taken out of my planner, I, I, I'm okay. There's no, there's no 911 situation going on amongst my planner. Once I'm done with that, um, whatever it is, I just take the page flag and I typically just have it stuck onto the front of my divider or sometimes even the inside of my divider. And um, it's always there when I need to go ahead and flag something as an emergency or um, like a 911 or like an attention, like, hey. Um, so that's really helpful for me. So you, what you'll end up seeing is quite a few of these as we go along in my planner. Um, just laying on the dividers because they are something that I use on a regular basis when I need to um, really catch my attention. Here's a to buy list, a workout schedule, um, healthy food choices, planner wish list, um, and then I have some extra note paper here. The next section. Well, before I get to that, I just have this folder here that I keep just extra note paper. I have this arrow paper clip from um, Target One Spot. This paper clip from a pen pal that sent that to me. I have some page flags here just in case I need something. There's going to be page flags throughout my entire planner because that is a big part of my planning. I have some here. And when I run out, I just, usually my Sundays is when I um, plan for the week to come. When I refill things that I've run out on, if I hadn't, if I have not had a chance to refill throughout the week, Sunday is when I go through everything and refill all my sticky notes and everything like that. Paper, note paper, things like that. Um, here are my monthly pages. This is the Webster's monthly a month on two pages I just jot down um, like bills and things like that you'll see a lot of um, um, page or sticky notes with reminders and pre-planning on them so I probably on almost every monthly page you'll see that um, here's here you go again just more sticky notes um, they just kind of help me plan out for that month. Here's another red flag. Attention to what's going on here. So when I see this when my planner is closed, I know that that's something that I need to take care of immediately. And when I'm done with this, again, it'll either sit here or in the beginning of um, the divider or the inside of the divider. So that if um, when something else comes up again, I can always um, Reflag whatever it is that needs to be flagged. So let's take that here. So here's um, May, and like I said, there's going to be pre planning a sticky note for each page because um, I would typically pre plan or forward plan, should I say. The next section here is my weekly. I have a, just a single sticky note for. A quick note if necessary emergency page flag some more sticky notes 
and then here's my year on a page 2016 year on a page 2017 I like everyone else I think it's just um an everybody thing mark each month as they go by with stickers and we are in April of course so here I was using the Kate Spade um inserts for a bit and the fact that the monthly pages are connected to the weekly pages I really didn't like it so I um, did switch over to my um, Webster pages so I'll show you where I did that so see there's a month connected to the weekly and I just really I don't need two month monthly inserts and um, because it was here I found use for it but I really can do without Here's this week. Well, it's not this week, but I mean, this was week of um, March 28th through the 3rd. I think this was last week. And all the previous um, pages are archived, so my planner won't be too thick. This is this current week. Again, um, I do use these a lot for note taking, sticky notes, and things like that. I, but I'm gonna try to um, use less stickers because I use so many of them. So I do plan on using less stickers. And after, since I already used a lot here, after this week, I'm gonna try to cool it on the stickers. So here's this week. This here I made using the Heidi Swap dividers. Um, I just cut it down and then re hole punched it. And then I just added the Today sticker. So that's that. Within this section, I have another weekly section. Um, I use this like dashboard to divide that section this page flag just so I can kind of see it from the top and get to it easily along with this week here but I do plan on using this here for um, like Bible study notes and Bible study planning and things like that so that's what this section will be for here so I just added this this is a new section and within this section I have the, the remaining weeks um, paper clipped or binder clipped and then I'll have some Bible study notes here and then I have um, scriptures that I really like so I have some favorite scriptures here my next section is my daily section which I only use when it's really busy a really busy day or a lot going on and I just kind of want to keep track of all the things that needs to be done I do keep a page marker on the next available insert I got bored and just decided to add some stickers I, I usually block off seven o'clock to eight just because I don't get up until like eight o'clock so and I did that there so that's the section I have extra sheets and then the next section is um, let me hold on, is my um, finance section, which is really not. Well, let me just skip that page. It'll just be easier. Okay. This is my expense or finance section, which is not really done yet. This is all the inserts that I have right now for that. It's a savings tracker. But I do plan on getting a few more inserts from So Much Crafting um, soon. But in the meantime, this is all I have. Then I have this little dashboard with some notes on here. Let's see if I can do that because that glare. Um, so I have some notes on here and on here. And then I have some extra sticky notes here. So this is really my sticky notes section. 
this here just a bit. Okay. So this is where I go if I need some sticky notes for um, my planner pages. I have these here. I'm just trying to block that glare out. I have some sticky notes here, which you guys probably saw this in the last planner um, set up. And then I have sticky notes here, which I added this, which is probably not what you've seen in the last planner set up. So I have some here and I have some on the back of here. I also have some here and there. And then I have these top loading envelopes with um, a lot of workout stickers and uh, masking stickers that I use in my planner. And then some more color coding stickers and things like that in here. And then I have another emergency page flag. 